Hey guys, at BV Matson, the time has come. We're getting the uh, Honda Twin engine out of the 1972 CL350. We're gonna do it today. Getting the motor out of these things isn't that hard, um, but I'm gonna try a new approach to doing it uh, today. Um, I tried wrestling my last motor out all by myself, standing over it, lifting it around. Um, but on one of the Honda Twin forums, I saw kind of a unique way to do it. So I wanted to give it a try today. Uh, in order to get the motor out, once we're at, at this point, all you're going to need is a 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter socket and set of wrenches uh, to pull out the pins and drop out the motor. Um, let's um, dive right into it. I hope it works. I've never done it this way, so we'll see what happens. All right, there it is. We need to get it out. And there's really... Only a couple things holding it in. There's one really long bolt right there that needs to come out. Underneath, there's two front ones. Now keep in mind, there's a spacer on the left side of the bike that we don't wanna lose, but those two bolts, and we come up to the top and we're gonna pull out this bracket. All right, this bracket actually mounts the top of the engine to the frame. So we're gonna pull that out. Once we have that, we're gonna be able to dump the engine. So let's get to work. All right, in order to get these things going, basically grab your 14. This is gonna be a 14 uh, millimeter. It's gonna work better to get your wrench probably behind this one. There is a small hold on the starter cable. You can just pull this. This is, this is just bends kind of out of the way. Pull it out. Let's grab it. Come on, there we go. And that starter cable is free and it's out of your way. Let me see if I can move that. Let me give you a better look. All right, so here's our culprit. We're gonna grab our 14. Drop that on there and head over to the other side. Go in reverse mode. Find it, works good with an extension. You can get right around it. I'm lucky this breaks right free. So we're just gonna pull this off. Wait till that nut falls on the other side. It's a really long bolt, okay? Um, it doesn't have to come out all the way, but there we go. We got that free. Now notice we've got our holder for the starter cable and one nut, there's no washer. Is there? Oh, there's the washer. There's a washer basically rusted right to the frame. Next thing, I'm gonna use my punch and I'm just gonna give this a nice tap. And that bolt on the other side actually just flew right out. And here it is, big long bolt, all right? That is your rear. So I'm just gonna take the washer. I'm gonna take the battery stay or the uh, starter cable stay. I'm gonna put these together. And there is the number one bolt. All right, now we're looking right underneath the, uh, the motorcycle here. And I'm gonna pull out these two. Let's see, I haven't tried to bud. Oh yeah, it's gonna, might turn. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna come out, see? This is easy. Now, just note the spacer. Note the spacer right here. Don't want to lose it. All right. You're going to need that if you end up putting your motor back in. Still on the fence with this one, to be quite honest with you. Now, let's take note of the different parts that come off of here. Okay. There is a lock nut or a lock washer and a washer and a nut. Now this bolt's gonna pop right out. Now watch what happens to this spacer. The spacer is gonna fall right out. Do not lose the spacer. So I'm gonna put the spacer on, I'm gonna put the washer back on, put the lock nut back on, and we're gonna put that over here. So spacer, for your reference, is on the left side of the bike. Let's go get the other one. All right, same deal on this one. Other side, it's in here, hopefully this breaks free. Yeah, here we go. We're in business, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just take note of all the parts that come off of here. Oh, that's probably, these are crusty bolts. I'm gonna have to go a little longer. There we go, there is no space around the right side, all right? There is no spacer on the right side of the bike. So this is gonna pull right off. Boom. Got our nut. 
There is a locking washer on the nut side. I'm gonna pull this off. And there is a, just a plain washer and bolt there. So bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna put all this back together and we're getting real close to getting this engine out. All right, now we're gonna turn our attention to the top mount and this is a little bit different. You just need to go and swap out that 14 um, for a 12, okay? So pretty straightforward. Um, probably don't even need the extension on this one. So I'm gonna dump the extension and grab my wrench. Go to one side, attach. Oops, got the wrong one. 12, didn't I just say 12? I did. Drop that on the other side and let's hope these are, yeah, these are, God, these aren't bad at all. So that's really good. Um, had a comment come in a while back uh, saying that I pre-break my, uh, my nuts loose. Let me be honest with you, I've actually only done that a couple of times. Um, for the most part, man, we, we are doing this stuff live. All right, so there's just a, oops, there's a washer on this one. Oops, come on, how do I show you? There you go. Washer nut just fell on the ground. I'm gonna pull this right out. And doesn't appear to be a washer on the other side. That's kind of weird. Um, let's go ahead and attack this other one. Um, if I put it back together, probably will most likely put a washer on that side. Uh, seems kind of weird that there wouldn't be one. But I'm gonna do this. Pull this apart. Now notice there's a couple of little wire stays that are there. We'll save all that. We'll save all that. We'll pull out this top bracket. All right. That's a long-winded one. There we go. Got it. And so we've got our nut. We've got the wire stay. That acts kind of as the washer. And then I'm going to have to tap on this one. Get that to come out of there. Probably have to grab my punch as well. That buddy doesn't want to move. There we go. See that engine shift? Engine's getting ready to come on out. Give it a little pull. There's our other side bolt right there. This engine is pretty much independent. The only thing that's holding it in is this bracket right now. So what I want to do is I'm just going to loosen this bolt and then... Uh, you know, I think we're gonna you know, get, let gravity help us on this try. I, I really hope this works. All right, before we get to that bolt, here's the idea. We're gonna tip the motorcycle over on its right side and that motor is gonna fall right out. So I'm just gonna put a blanket down so it's nice and soft and I'm gonna take just a piece of, piece of cardboard, kind of line that up with where that's gonna go. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna tip the bike down right onto that. Um, but first we gotta, gotta tackle this last connector. All right, come back around here. Like that snap. You know a bolt hasn't been broke free when you hear the snap. All right, so we're gonna pull this out. Okay, but I'm gonna leave it in kind of loose right now. All right, because I want this to kind of control our fall here on this next spot. So let me uh, move the camera around and let's dump this engine. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go, guys. Moment we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna kick it off its front stand. And honestly, this is one of the only times that you wanna lay your bike down, okay? Control fall, real nice and slow. Lay her on her side. That engine is nice and free right now, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of this bolt right here on that top hold that's there. This thing just kind of pancakes together. It's gonna to pull right off. There's a, a washer and a nut, and then that piece will slide right out. So I'm gonna walk around here and pull this whole assembly apart. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it right back together, okay? So we don't wanna lose, oops, don't wanna lose any of our parts, okay? Again, this is the only time that you ever want to lay your bike down like this. <laughs> um, but one man can be done, all right? 
This engine is totally clean. Um, all we gotta do is manipulate it to get it off the ears. I'll kind of show you what's going down right now. All right, the bike is on its side and we've got to just clear this one gap to clear the side there. And we've got to move the engine forward just a little bit there. All right, once we do that, it should fall right out if I wouldn't have forgotten this one main bolt. <laughs> got a little ahead of myself, guys, but that ain't no big deal. Let's get that bolt out of there. All right, all we gotta do is get this, this is back to 14. Just gonna pop right off. And we pull that pin, man. And we're gonna be in business to get this motor out. Actually, leaving that pin in wasn't the worst deal in the world. Um, so I think it did kind of help stabilize it just a little bit as I moved it. All right, there we go. Let's get that pin out of there. Probably going to need to finesse this just a little bit. All right, I just slap a pair of vice grips on it, pull this bolt right out, grab all the parts, put her back together. All right, now it's time just to kind of get jiggy with it a little bit. I'll pull that engine up, which is beautiful. Now these engines only come out from the right side, okay? Really important, you're not gonna be able to get it out from the left side. So we're clear on that side. Just gotta clear this one part right here. Give it a little tilt. Ooh, we're so close. We're so close. Gotta just get her just right. Let's get that up. Ooh, this is where you need your pry bar. Let's grab the pry bar. Let's drop it right in here. Get myself a little bit of separation. If I can grab this, torque that around, and get her out. Super close, guys. Super close. Kind of a little puzzle, I'll tell you. It's a lot easier than manhandling it. There, it's clear. It's clear. Now we just got to get the bike over on top and give you a new camera angle. All right, super close. Hung up on this one edge right here. There it is. Wah. Motorcycle out of the way. She's free. And there's the motor. How about that? There she be. Engine's out. Actually, don't mind that. That that method of doing it. It's pretty easy, actually. Here's the bike. Whoo. She's looking pretty bare. Looking pretty bare. But we got it out. Now let's put it on a stand. One of the things that I found really useful um, during my last builds, I did just purchase a uh, little engine stand. It just makes moving these things around a lot more easy. What was this from? Lowbrow Customs, but it worked really, 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 really good. And basically we're looking at the bottom of the engine. It just slides right on. And the cool thing is, is that you can just use your existing bolts to bolt this right on. Um, that way you've got a nice flat surface to be able to work with on the motor. So I really recommend getting one. I, I don't remember what I actually paid for it. Um, I think I paid 30, 40 bucks for this stand, but it makes things a lot easier. Um, otherwise you're balancing it on top of a five gallon bucket or something like that. So these engine stands are definitely worth checking out. So uh, let's just throw that thing on. First thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna line up your uh, long bolt here, tap that into place, kind of finesse that in. There we go, we're good. We'll put a nut and bolt on the end of that. And then, what we're gonna do is do the same thing over here, all right? We're just gonna take the bolts that we took out and put them right back in. Now remember, our spacer is on the left side. So we wanna make sure that we include that spacer. So here we go, we're gonna drop pan in, spacer in, 
and you don't have to like go nuts tightening this stuff. Um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. We'll just kind of get these on there. So we've got our stand attached. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll come right up. So we'll grab our other short bolt. All right, take that, push it up into the hole. Washer, lock nut, and nut, our locking washer, and our nut. And there you go. We're on the engine stand. Let's flip her over. All right. Let's sit her back up. There she be. Let's get a better look at it. And there she is in all her glory. Honda Twin, out of the motorcycle, one-man job. I find that setting them on a five-gallon bucket works pretty good. The, uh, the engine stand is perfect for that. Sits on there just perfect. Got to be a little careful on the edges, make sure it's catching on all of them. But uh, there she be. And this thing is crusty. You know, we're going to have to deal with this spark plug stuff. But we're going to tear this engine all apart, guys. I mean, we got it out. Let's uh, go over. There's the bike. Sitting back up. We're going to finish the teardown on this probably next weekend. Get that thing all the way down to the frame, get everything down. And then I'm really excited about the next series of videos because we're going to dive into that parts that parts box and start to figuring out what we can salvage. And I'll kind of show you what I uh, did to refurb some of the parts on the uh, CB350 back there because she's looking beautiful. Getting a little jealous. I'm spending all this time with the CL for sure. Um, but I think that's it. That's a, that's a huge win, man. We got the engine out today. Failed on the spark plugs removal, but oh well, we kind of expected that. Um, but this is awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We got it done. This is actually going to be my winter project. I think that's how this is all going to work out. Um, tearing this down, uh, get this down into the workshop, um, and start going to town on it. I'm anticipating fall winter projects, something like that. I'm going to focus on the rest of the bike here uh, for this next series of videos for sure. Um, we did it. What do you guys think of that method? Dipping it over, letting it fall out, wrestle it out of there. Definitely saves on the old back, um, trying to do it the other way. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. If uh, you've got uh, critiques, suggestions, anything, I'm open to it. I'd love to have that conversation with you. Follow along, Instagram and Twitter. It is freaking hot today. Summer's in full force. I'm going to go grab a water, hydrate a little bit and then figure out what we're going to do next. I think we're going to tear into the front end, get the wheels off, get the sway bar out, you know, get the triple tree out. We've got a lot of stuff to do yet. So uh, this is a milestone. This is what we wanted to do when we kicked off this whole video series. So thanks for watching, guys. Keep on wrenching and see you next time.